Hi, and welcome to my channel. It's me, Tina. Today, I am joining in a collaboration that is called The Joy of Blue. And it is a bunch of ladies that have gotten together, and they're all going to create something that has blue in it. So what I've decided to do, I haven't played with my jelly plate in a long time, and I needed some pages for my journals, so I figured um, that's what I would do today, is just start playing and see what I come up with. Um, my friend Sheila McNabb, she gave me this kit. She also gave me this little thing for scribbling on there. She also gave me a large, um, what is this thing, roller but I cannot find it, so I'm just going to use a small one. And yeah, what a jelly plate is, is a big, well, I guess you can get them in any size, but it's like this um, rubber piece, and you know, you can get them smaller, you can get them in circles, in any size. So what I have been doing, I haven't used this very often, but what I do is um, I put my jelly plate down and then <clears throat> I add my paint um, in any shape or, or any place. I add a little bit at a time and then I just take my little thing like this forget what you call this what is this called I'm gonna remember by the end of this video I should remember and just roll it all over and then see what you come up with so I'm gonna take a piece of paper now this is just like a scrapbook piece of paper uh, or like out of a magazine whoops and I'm getting it full already so I'm just gonna put it on here I just wanted to create something else on this piece of paper um, because <clears throat> you know us junk journalers we use everything so let's see how that looks well that looks pretty good looks better than what was on here so I like that. I'm going to put that over here to dry. And I do have my um, heat tool over here. If I need to dry something quicker, then I can just dry that. And um, so I'm just going to do a bunch of blue colors. And I don't even know how old my paint is. I know it's not the freshest. Um, so this is just a, it says tropical blue, and the first one I used was a peacock blue. And this is an acrylic paint, extreme glitter. Now, I don't know if there's any in here. There is. I'm going to put it upside down. Um, let's see, I'm going to add a little white to this. And then just mix it up a little bit. And my favorite color is blue, for sure. I think everybody, or anybody that watches my channel knows that I love blue. So when I heard of this um, collab, The Joy of Blue, I was in. So this is a darker piece of paper. Um not sure which side I'm, I'm going to use the purple side that's more purple and see what I can can come up with there okay so there's that that looks pretty good I like that so I'm going to put that down here now um, I'm going to do a couple of sheets that are smaller I should have gotten them out and I didn't and they have just words on them like that so I'm gonna get 
them out here. Sorry for not being better prepared. So this one has black on it. Now, what do I want to do? The black? Well, we'll see. I'll put this, the black on. And that is Billy in the background. And he loves jelly painting too. So I think I'm going to have to let him do some after we are, I am done here. So I'm going to grab this one up. Ooh, I like this one. Look at that. I really like that. And the crackling, you, the cracking, squeaking you hear is my chair. It is a squeaky chair. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of black just there. And let's see what will happen. I don't want too much because I still want that blue to come through. So I'm going to go like this and see what happens here. And you never know what you're going to come up with. So there's a little bit of blue there. I'm going to try it again here. And maybe here. So uh, that's probably not my favorite. But it's not too bad. I'll put that there. Now, let's see. I have some white here. I think I used white, didn't I? Yeah, I have some white. And I'm going to use this dark blue. And then I'm just going to go like this. Try not to mix it up too much. And let's see what we can come up with here. Because I want to start a winter journal and I thought these blue would be really, this blue color would be really fitting. Okay, let's see. Ooh, that is not bad. I like that. I like that, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. Got some blue on me here. Um, let's see. I should get out some more blue. See if this is... Okay, now I have some on the bottom here. There's not very much left of this um, glitter. <clears throat> I'll put some of this blue here and some more of this here and then okay I'll just go out that way and out this way come in Yeah, so just try to get it kind of everywhere, the colors that you want. Okay, so let's see what we can find. Um, I'm going to grab a large piece of paper. And see how much I can grab of that. I won't push it down too, too much. Maybe a little more here. Ooh, look at that. Cool. 
this part would be awesome. Hmm. I'm probably going to add more to this. <clears throat> so now I'm just going to move this all over. And I'm right here. There's a little like dip. So I'm going to move this over here so that there's not this little dip on the page. Okay, so now I have that and I'm going to try to put this stencil on and then I'm going to put on a page. And see how that works. See if that design will come through. I'm just going to press it in there. Okay. Oh, I love it. It is beautiful. I love it. I did not know that it would turn out that nice. What do you think, guys? I love this one. I think this is my favorite so far. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. Now, do I want to try another one with this one? I think so. I think I'm just going to see what's left here to pick up. Maybe I'll add a little more. <clears throat> Excuse me, blue. I have never done um, any of this with stencils before, so you're seeing what I'm seeing for the first time, too. So I'm going to put that right there, and I'm going to get a clear piece of paper. To do this and this is uh, this white paper is just like uh, photocopy paper that I'm putting on here and I really do like the um, brayer this is a brayer see I told you I remember um, I like the bigger brayer that I have it doesn't make the little streaks on there. Okay, let's see. Ooh, so pretty, so pretty. Look at that. I love it. Oh my goodness. Now I'm so tempted to do other uh, stencils. Okay, so I'm going to take just a piece of paper here. And put that down and I'm gonna put this down on this side and just kind of clean it up and I should be getting from both sides now I should be getting a a stent or a, some kind of you know markings so here is this one well that's not too bad and then on this side oh the paper wants to stick oh that is pretty I like that so yeah I've done a couple here now um let's see I'm gonna do some of this glitter this is just um it says it's glitter glue Okay, so I'm going to just put some on here, and I'm going to get this sheet here that I did, and just put that on, and I won't press very hard, just lightly, 
and see what happens. Ooh, look at that. How pretty is that? And this should be just about dry, so I'm just going to put it there. Okay, so I'm going to try that. Um, let me see. What should I do next? I'm going to put some of this lighter blue on here. And I'm going to add this glitter. Oh, I wonder if, since this is glue, if my thing is going to stick. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit on. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing here. There we go. Now I'm going to take this black one. I don't really like that color, so I'm just going to see if I can lighten it up a bit. Put that one on there. And this dark one I'll put over here. Okay. So that lightened it up, and then once it's dry, it's going to have glitter in it. So that'll be cool. And, yep, this one lightened up too. I like this much better. That is going to be really pretty. And let's see. I had another stencil here that I wanted to try. This, um, like a polka dotted one. So I'm going to do the dark blue, put that on, okay, put that on there, Ooh, that wasn't a good idea to touch it. Um, I'm going to take this one and see what happens when I have the dark blue on there. And I may use this paper like for pockets or, um, you know, make my own ephemera or something like that. We'll see what I do, but I just thought I would love that. Look at that. <gasps> I love it. There's a little bit of black, the light blue, the dark blue. I love it. Very, very nice. And let's see, do I want to do that to this one? Let's see if I can just add some of this paint over this. And add a little dark blue to this one. Maybe I'll try to do it more to one side. Yeah, the bigger brayer covers a larger area, which I like. Okay. That's not too bad. I mean, it just showed up a little bit here, but that's okay. Um, so I hope you guys, after you're done watching my video, you go on to the next person and um, watch their video. I think there was 23, in the 20s anyway, ladies that were doing this. So yeah, there's quite a few of us that love the blue. Yeah, and if you have a chance to try a jelly plate, um, go ahead and try it. It can be a lot of fun. Okay, so there's that one this way. That one's not the greatest, but I mean, you can always add to it, right? 
you can always add stuff I think my plate is a little bit dry add a couple of drops of water and then since I'm coming to the end here I just figured I would try to get as much paint off as I can hey Bill you ask Michael to help you ask Michael to help you okay yeah it's pretty stuck on here I think I'm gonna have to wash that off but that's okay. This will be more like of a water stained. You want to try some of these, Bill? No? Yeah, so that's more of a water stained. Alrighty, I hope you enjoyed this video of my jelly plating. And, um... I hope you um, join my channel for, I do DIYs, I do journaling, I do hauls, I do reviews, um, so if you like that kind of stuff, and I do some cooking, uh, please feel free to join my channel and uh, become a part of my YouTube family. I would really appreciate that, and thank you so much for um for watching this collaboration of all us ladies the joy of blue um which is hosted by sarah and her channel <clears throat> excuse me her channel name is uh crafting and relaxing thank you very much god bless you bye